So, um, a caveat property is based on first order predicates, Boolean expression, relational operators, and so on. A caveat property defines a relation between input operands and output operand of a service. Our objective by using these tools and this method is to reduce costs of software verification and obviously without compromising the effectiveness of the verification, not only for certification purpose, but uh, I fly also on Airbus and uh, <coughs> I don't want... <laughs> okay, <laughs> you understand what I mean. <laughs> so the, soli the, the solution we, we have put in place is to define directly low-level requirement by using formal properties. The idea is not to, to do like before uh, low-level requirement textual one, for example, and <coughs> to develop properties to verify the executable ob object code, the code, sorry, but to define directly in the low-level requirement, uh, the low-level requirement by using formal properties. And after that, to use caveat to, uh, to verify the code. So, uh, So, during the <coughs> the subset uh, <coughs> process, subset ac uh, specification activities, we develop uh, high level requirements like before testing testing high level based on text on text. Sorry, and from that those high level requirements, we define uh, the design the low level requirements <coughs> by properties. We also define the data and control flow, some mapping constraint and some timing constraint. We also have some pseudo code to help the coding phase. And during the unit, instead of unit testing, we perform a unit proof to verify the compliance of the C source with the properties and to verify automatically the data and control flow. And then we have a classical integration testing phase to verify the executable object code in front of the high level requirements, to verify timing constraint and mapping constraints. And uh, <coughs> so the, the proof is done like that. Uh, caveat is using the C, the C source to extract the flow, the flow, uh, the data and control flow generation. This flow is uh, is compared to the data and control flow of the design, and therefore the functional properties in the design as verifi are verified instead in front of the C, of the C source and the, of the code source, and uh, the the results are analyzed. If there is problem, we go back to the coding phase or the design phase, and if not the code is compliant with the design. And this, this tool caveat is integrated in, in our process management tools to automate the proof process. So the first time, there is a lot of work to define the proof environment to make, make the first proof of the app. It's not totally easy. But after that, for maintenance purpose, for example, when you have to, to modify your property because of a high level requirement modification. With maintenance, you have to, to modify your property, you modify your code, and after that, Caveat is working for you. So, our conclusions from uh, this first experience in, uh, of uh, using formal method on a, on a real Adionics project, which is certified, uh, is that static verification and formal method are cheaper for the same and better, even better. Uh, we always say the same because uh, we also use testing for other projects. Uh, so the, we don't want certification authority to say, okay, this is cheaper and better, so use it for all, all your software. Uh, it's not uh, so easy. So, <laughs> okay, so it's cheaper and it's better. And the most important thing is here. This is industrially applicable now because we have tools. There are tools which exist and are industrially applicable. Our vision now 
is to extend the formal proof to wider functional area. The idea is to use proof during integ integration, not only do you, during unit testing, but to prove properties on the whole software and not only on the component. To extend the use of static verification, especially on runtimes, error detection. And uh, we will soon have a DO and 78 c with a formal method supplement inside it, which will uh, help us to certify our software or to, to, to negotiate with certification authorities. Because during the A380 program, the use of uh, formal method for worst case execution time is not a problem for certification. The use of stack compu computation also, this is not a problem in front of the 178B objectives. But using caveat, using a unit proof instead of unit testing, this is a real problem in the, with the 178B. So we worked a lot with certification authority and especially European certification authorities to build specific regulation in addition to the 178B in the context of A380 to be able to certify that at the end. And we still have this type of specific regulation on A400, on A350. So that is why we, uh, we invest a lot in the 178C on formal method supplement to help to to, to help us in the future, and you maybe in the future, to certify uh, a software project with formal method. <coughs> and we will go now deeper in, inside formal method supplement. So, uh, this formal method supplement will enable us to use formal method in place of conventional verification method. I said verification, we will see why. Um, <clears throat> this formal method supplement provide guidance, provides guidance to use formal method by modifying existing objectives of the 178 core document, by defining new objectives also, because when you use formal <coughs> method, there are some things, we will see some, some notions, some things more to do, <coughs> because if you use testing, method, certification authority and the 178 doesn't require you to, to, to say something on the soundness of testing, on uh, the quality of testing. Testing is testing. Everybody says, okay, you have to test your software, but the, the efficiency of testing in front of safety or de of detection of errors, you don't have to, to, to say anything. But when you use formal method, they ask, they ask us to, to do other things. Some are normal, we will see uh, some new objectives. It describes new activity and uh, evidence to meet the objectives. Um, what is important also in, in this formal method supplement uh, is that it, it, give, it, give, it gives information on the fundamentals of formal method. We will see some of them. And it deals obviously with specific, the specific characteristics of formal <coughs> method. So, 